Hello, I'm FEX Toy Cat, and the odds of any given end portal frame being filled in with an eye of ender in Minecraft are 1 in 10, making it a 1 in a trillion chance that all 12 are filled in, giving you a perfect, completed end portal. This has been long thought to be impossible in Minecraft Bedrock, where there are just 4.3 billion seeds, meaning that even 9 eye of enders, a roughly 1 in 10 billion chance, is next to impossible, but this week the impossible seemed possible because a 9 eye of end portal was found. But then, even better, this seed I'm showing you right here has 10 eyes of Ender in the portal. This is incredible and unprecedented and wait, what's that? Just as I went to record this video, a new seed with not 10, but 11 eye of Enders was found. This is roughly a one in a hundred billion chance. And this is really interesting because it means 91.6% of the end portal is already filled out. It means 91.6% of the blaze rod collecting is already done for you by the game. And 91.6% of the Enderman searching how did we find a seed uh, against all the odds which has 91.6% of the game beaten for you? Allow me to go through that in today's video. Because it goes without saying, none of this would have been possible were it not for the work of Cracked Magnet. A lot of Minecraft seed advancements are made by one person really working on solving a particular problem, and the particular problem that Cracked Magnet was trying to solve was how exactly do we find a seed with more IF Enders in Minecraft Bedrock. The max that we'd ever find naturally was 7 or 8, and that was considered to be the peak uh, that would ever be found in a seed because again 4.3 billion seeds uh, the odds of finding a one in a trillion or one in a hundred billion uh, just seems so next to impossible however these types of seeds have been found on the Java edition before there is a 12 I and a seed there is quite a few of them in fact uh, because Java has far more seeds and so it was assumed that given that Java seed searching was much more developed there would be some way to port over the same seed searching tools to bedrock and although this wasn't very easy again strongholds don't generate in the same place a lot of discoveries were found Something that was discovered during the process is that Minecraft Java uses a different part of the world seed to work out where things like strongholds should be generated. Um, it uses the large decoration part of the seed, whereas Minecraft Bedrock uses a different part entirely. So working out uh, what Minecraft Bedrock uses to uh, calculate its strongholds was the first step. The second step was working out how Minecraft Bedrock generates its strongholds. And during that process, it was discovered that although strongholds look identical between Bedrock and Java, it actually turns out that on Bedrock, there is a slightly lower a chance of the portal room generating at a given point. Indeed, there was another bug that was found that this five wave room is the most likely room to generate in a given uh, stronghold or so for, you know, bizarre reasons to do with a bug in the code. So some bugs were found, some interesting quirks were found that make the stronghold room less likely on bedrock. But what about the stronghold room itself? Once you could find out where a stronghold room would generate on a given seed, which is a hard enough uh, search, then you have to work out how each of the IF enders is derived and how you can work out if a given seed would have how many IF enders. So once the location of the stronghold room had been worked out, now came the tricky part of the equation, which was working out after you know where the stronghold room should be, how many IF Enders a portal will have, and this is really tricky compared to Java, but the uh, equation was worked out that there are 760 blocks in this portal room that generate before the end portal. The 760 blocks are the blocks like the cr cr mossy stone bricks, the stone bricks, or the cracked stone bricks, and every single block in this room uses a bit of RNG to work out how it should generate. Will it be a cracked stone brick, a stone brick, or a mossy stone brick? And so once these 760 pieces of RNG have been calculated, then the next piece of RNG is the end portal, and so by advancing the RNG 760 stages, this was how he was able to work out what a given seed, uh, you know, IF Enders would be compared to Java. Then, using Java seed searching tools, a massive search was done under all of the seeds that work in Minecraft Bedrock, and off those, it was found that 726 of these seeds would have 9 IF Enders uh, being possible, that 13 of these seeds would have 10 IF Enders, and that just one seed across all all of the Minecraft Bedrock seeds searched could have 11 eye offenders. What is that one seed? You're looking at it now. This was a truly incredible search on the proportions we've never seen in the Bedrock world, and on a fact, uh, thank Crack Magnet again. Again, the complications and the weird RNG is something that I still can't entirely get my head around, so hopefully I explained it to you well enough. But just in case you don't care about the RNG, what's the deal with the seed then? What's the seed? This is Seed Sunday after all, so allow me to show you right now. So, hello, I'm Abby X Toycat. Welcome back to Seed Sunday. The 
the weekly series where I show you seeds for Minecraft that are particularly interesting, you know, like, like the one that's on screen. Let's be honest, I can show you all around this seed, but I just want to point out that the spawn for this looks like any other. It almost, it almost looks slightly below average for a spawn of a seed, and this is the proof that every Minecraft world has something beautiful going on in it somewhere. It's just some things are more beautiful than others, like this world seed, where admittedly, you spawn at 660 on the x-axis and about zero on the uh, z, and you have to go very far to find the stronghold, which, let's be honest, that's the only thing you're heading towards, so let's show you how you get there. You're going to want to travel the absolutely ridiculous distance of 7,800 blocks on the x-axis and 5,300 blocks on the z. Usually this is something that you can't recommend at all for any seed. I mean, it's it's 12,000 blocks when you add it together, just under 13 actually. 13,000 blocks almost, and it's like, well, no one's gonna go that far, except in this case, by going very far, you save yourself a bit of effort. So this will not be a good speedrunning seed. Uh, there are other seeds that have been found in the 9 or 10 seed category that might be good for speedrunning. Uh, this is not one of them. This is not a great seed for speedrunning, but it is a great seed if you want 91.6% of the game to be done for you, because here's the best bit. 13,000 blocks is such a far distance that it'll take, you know, like a long time to get there, but all you have to do to avoid that is head to these coordinates in the nether, where you'll find this beautiful uh, you know, crimson forest that is uh, merged with a warp forest. I, I know I always like when this happens. It's a, it's, it's a really nice little uh, tri-biome point, but you want to head to this point inside of the nether, and you want to go through the portal, and yeah, it means by traveling just a thousand blocks, you can head uh, the much further distance via that, and I, I think that's wonderful. And you might be thinking, wait a minute, Soy Cat, where's the stronghold? I don't see a village. Here's the even cooler bit about this. This seed that just happens to be the only 11 eye offender portal that we know of that can be found in Minecraft Bedrock at this present time happens to also be an underwater stronghold. That's right, it couldn't find a village near enough, so it generated under what happened to be an island, and it gives you this, a stronghold that is underwater in such a cool way. Um, it's not only underwater, by the way, it also merges with these ocean ruins in a way that I think is just, I think it's astounding, uh, you know, like, again, you don't see this every day, you don't even see this some days, uh, this is the first day you'll see something like this. So yeah, super interesting to be able to kind of look around the stronghold. Um, I, I love this room in particular because it's a library, um, you know, like, uh, that you can, like, dig into because you can spot it very easily. You can also spot the stronghold room very easily because it's the big wide one like this. So we break in here and what do we find? Wow, it's the stronghold room. Also, you might notice, um, I, I didn't bring attention to it earlier because it's just a weird quirk of the seed. There's two water sources just in the stronghold room. Why do they exist there? I don't know. But yeah, you're here for the main attraction. All you need is a single eye offender. Seriously, just to, just to prove this point, here is one eye offender. I placed it in the 12th portal slot, and now you can go to the end. You travel 1,000 blocks in your never, you swim under the water. You don't even have to dig underground. You can swim straight to this if you want to, and you can access the end itself. That is the incredible nature of this seed. Here is the end, in case you're curious. Ends are never particularly notable between seeds. I'd say this one's nice because the towers aren't too high. You can get to them easy enough, but like, sure, it's a, it's an end. Actually, wait, this is a really notable end because these almost go over the edge. Huh. It's, I have not seen that in Bedrock yet. I, I wonder if you can find seeds where the tower is entirely off the edge of the main end island. Because this one is so close to that in a way that I haven't seen before. You know, this seed is even more interesting than I thought. I, <laughs> I was just about to downplay every end, but it turns out this is one of the very few that shouldn't be downplayed, because almost all ends are roughly the same. Like, it, there's not too much interesting stuff going on here, which is why I'm gonna go back to the overworld, and which is why I'm also gonna have the very real conversation about this seed. This is a seed that I think is really great for lazy players, uh, but I don't think that it's the best seed in the world for most Minecraft players because here's the deal Getting an 11 eye offender boost is wonderful If you want to beat the ender dragon for the first time, this is the seed to do it on You need very little you can trade with a village in fact if you want to trade with a village You can trade with a village just over here as you can see it's not too far away wait yeah, over here. It's not too far away. If you if you want to spot if you're on the right way or not, easiest way is if you pass a desert well, Minecraft's best structure, then you'll know that you're uh, <laughs> heading in the right direction. But there's a village just over here. Oh, it's, it's dead. Never mind. Guess you could uh, revive a villager or something. But all you have to do is trade for a single ender pearl. You can kill an enderman to get one. You can trade with piglins. One ender pearl and one blaze rod is all you need to beat Minecraft. So if, you, if you're scared of the never, if you're scared of these sorts of things, knowing that you only need one of those uh, resources each, 
can really, you know, take the stress off some people, can really take the load off some people. Knowing that this is a particularly interesting stronghold, I really like that too. And um, yeah, I, I think though, it should be, you know, we can't overstate, we can't, even though I'd love for this to be the most valuable seed in the world, I'm gonna be honest with you, as someone who is uh, big into the speedrunning world, this won't affect speedrunning. This won't even affect uh, most people's worlds because again, uh, even though it does a lot of the work for you, because it's so far away from spawn, there is a time investment involved in getting here. I think the end is interesting. I think the overworld is interesting. I think there's a lot of interesting points that could make it worthwhile. But the truth is, traveling so far for something uh, is a big amount of effort that most people would rather not do. Also, yeah, there's water. There's water here, there's water everywhere. There's a lot of points where you can do this. Also, if you want to get into this stronghold without breaking a single block, because you know what, you want to be fun, uh, then all you have to do is head right over here. This is the point you can head to, and you can swim straight from the start of the stronghold. This is the, the origin, the point where it started to spawn. You can go right from here, you can head forwards, just a few blocks, go past a free chest on the way, which will generate with random things. In my case, what's that? A gold horse armor sandwich, I see. <laughs> gotta, gotta torment the assistant at least once per seat Sunday. Anyway, so you can see all of these um, you know, beautiful things. Uh, and But the reality is, for most people, this is a really cool quirk. This is a great uh, move forwards for the Minecraft Bedrock speed, uh, for the seed finding world. And I hope this leads to big advancements. Uh, that will be more usable for more players. But for now, it's the lazy person seed. Would you like to see me do a lazy person speed run where we only get one blaze run, one eye offender? I think that would be fun. I guess maybe not even speed run, just casual run like world's Minecraft laziest Minecraft playthrough <laughs> might be more accurate. Uh, let me know how you think that uh, would be because I, I think there is a potential for this for that particular purpose. But otherwise, this is just a cool seed that is worth checking out in some way but not in every way. And the biggest thing that comes from this finding is all of the other weird quirks along the way. There might be a new speedrunning seed that we found. We're still doing uh, the checks on it, etc. There might be, uh, in fact, there is an infinite mineshaft seed that was found as just a weird result of the way Minecraft Bedrock RNG works. So that, uh, there's lots of weird quirks like that that I'm, I'm gonna be diving into over the coming uh, weeks. But just know, Minecraft Bedrock be weird. And here is even more proof as if you needed it, as, as if you needed it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to subscribe because as we all know, people who don't subscribe to the channel sometimes die in house fires. People who do subscribe to the channel, no data, which means they probably don't. And uh, <laughs> thank you for watching. I, I appreciate everyone uh, helping to make Seed Sunday the series that it is. And thank you one more time to Cracked Magnet for putting this all together. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching this because I'll see you next time, next week even for more seed and more Sunday. Goodbye.